Hi, welcome to your very first screencast of the year. Uh, this is Mr. LS, um, and we are going to go through right now, real quickly, just an introduction to history. Uh, this is just some things that you need to know in order to kind of get your feet on the ground in my class. So, what are we going to talk about this first semester of world history? We will have three units. Um, We'll spend the first six weeks talking about uh, how historians think and write and learn and make meaning out of the past. The next eight or so weeks will be spent learning about democracy and revolutions, both ancient ones and ones that are going on now. Uh, finally, we'll end the semester talking about the Industrial Revolution. I'm sure you're interested in trying to figure out how exactly I grade in my class. Um, the grading's pretty straightforward. Uh, an A is 89.5 and up. A B is 79.5 to 89.4, C, D, and I don't want to talk about F's. I don't really want to talk about D's either. We're getting C's or higher, people. That's going to happen. I weight my grades, so all of the points aren't combined together. Uh, they're kind of put into separate categories. I have three tech categories that I, that I put your grades into. A quarter of your grade is classwork and very occasionally homework. A quarter of your grade is the grade uh, on your tests. Finally, 50% of your grade is major assessments. These are papers, presentations, or other very large projects. Um, these will always be, these are generally humanities assignments, so they're combined in the content of English and history. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, all of these major assessments will have multiple drafts written. You'll get feedback from myself and from Ms. Press, as well as hopefully from your peers. Um, and also, while the major assessments are going on, Ms. Press and I will be around a lot during office hours to help you out and try to make sure that this, this most important part of your grade um, is something that you do well and feel proud of. In terms of late work, um, it's a self-paced class. Uh, we'll talk more about this later um, in about five or six weeks. But for now, just know that anything with a specific due date, um, if it's late, you only get 50% credit. Uh, however, for the major assessments, if a major assessment is due on Tuesday and you turn it in on Wednesday, you only lose 10% per day it's late. So that due on Tuesday, turn it in Wednesday example, you would get 90% credit for the work that you did. So turn stuff in on time. It helps everybody. Why is history different at Hillsdale? There are several reasons. One is the humanities program. Ms. Press and I try to run units that, that stick together really well. So when we're talking about, for example, World War I in history, we'll be talk you'll be reading a book about World War I in English. Also, we have two years of time to do one year of world history, which means we get to go a little bit deeper into the curriculum. Finally, critical thinking is the most important part of our class, not dates and names. So if you remember, your grade is not based primarily on tests, but it's on these major assessments that are 50% of your grade. That is where you're going to do your big thinking and where you're going to really do well in my class. Finally, this critical thinking thing, that I say my whole class is based on. What exactly is that? I'm glad you asked. Check this out. Critical thinking in my class has three pieces. You need to be able to read, you need to be able to write, and you need to be able to speak in public. We will spend a ton of time practicing all of this, but that is kind of the basis for critical thinking, is reading and writing and public speaking. What do you need technology-wise in order to survive in my class? Get on school loop today, now, hhs.schoolloop.com. Click login. You want to register. All you need is your ID number, which you can find on your schedule. Get your parent or guardian to join as well so they can keep up with what's going on in class. Also, um, join Twitter. If you're not on already, do it. If you're on and you have a protected account, you should unprotect your account. We'll talk more about this later. Uh, our class Twitter handle is at HistoryWithLS. Follow that. Um, I'll tweet out links and various other hopefully interesting information for you that will help make your time in class better. Also, our class hashtag is LSHistory. We'll talk again more about using that in the future, but for now, just know that that's there. Um, if you have a smartphone or if you have an iPod Touch, that has the ability to get Instagram. Um, it's worth having. We'll be using that in class. Um, and then there's a bunch of other stuff that we'll be using that we will talk more about uh, a little bit later. Finally, what do you need on a day-to-day -day basis? It's pretty straightforward. You need a binder or folder to keep stuff in. You need a pen or a pencil. You need paper. I don't care if it's a notebook. I don't care if it's loose leaf. Whatever. Bring a binder. Bring a pen or a pencil. Bring paper. We're good to go. Finally, the last thing I would like to remind you is right below this video, there's a Google form. 
enter your questions that you're like, hmm, I didn't really understand this into that Google form, then you'll get credit for watching this video and I will answer your questions in class uh, a little bit later this week. Thanks for watching.